We learned about a groundbreaking experiment based on a medical mystery. For decades, doctors have known that a tiny number of people infected with HIV never come down with the symptoms of AIDS. They appear immune. Well, today, the New England Journal of Medicine reported on a promising new therapy, and Dr. John lapook has been looking into that. 53-year-old Jay Johnson has been living with HIV for more than two decades. He takes medication twice a day to keep the virus from developing into AIDS. It's always in the back of my mind that this med medical regimen that I'm on could stop working. It could potentially cause me to lose the battle. In 2010, Johnson was one of 12 patients to undergo an experimental treatment for HIV using gene therapy. Dr. Pablo Tebas helped run the clinical trial at the University of Pennsylvania. Our goal is to create an immune system that is resistant to HIV, that HIV cannot infect. HIV enters and infects an immune cell by binding to a molecule called CCR5 on the cell surface. 1% of people lack this molecule and are naturally resistant to HIV because the virus is locked out of the cell. Dr. Tebas and his colleagues extracted immune cells from the trial patients, then disabled the gene for this molecule. The cells were re-injected into the patients to try to create resistance to HIV. We proved the concept that you can modify the cells, reinfuse them back into the patients safely, and that they live longer in the presence of HIV. As part of the study, six of the patients temporarily stopped taking their medication. In four cases, the levels of HIV decreased. In one of those patients, the virus was reduced to undetectable levels. More than three years later, those modified cells continue to circulate in Johnson's body, and he continues to feel fine. It makes me want to shout out to the world that, you know, there could be an end to this. The main purpose of this small study was to test the safety of this new gene editing technique. So far, it does appear to be safe. The ultimate goal is to allow patients with HIV to stop taking antiviral drugs, but much more study is needed to know if that's possible. Still about a million and a half people die of AIDS in the world every year. John, thanks very much.